The United Nations now estimates about 700,000 people in Haiti are internally displaced due to the relentless gang violence. While there's been some progress made with additional security forces in Haiti, UN experts say there's a lot at stake if more resources don't arrive. Our Washington, D.C. correspondent Rachel Knapp reports. There's a very long way to go, and time is the enemy. Bill O'Neill, the United Nations designated expert on human rights in Haiti, recently wrapped up a two-week visit to the country. Compared to his last visit, O'Neill says the situation is still horrific as the number of displaced people climbed dramatically. There's shortages of everything, uh, food, water, uh, mostly also um, gas. O'Neill met with the country's top leaders, law enforcement officers, and victims of the gang violence. He emphasizes the need for additional humanitarian and law enforcement efforts to regain control. Billions of lives at risk in terms of humanitarian. You know, the, w the World Food Program has a million and a half people in, in, in very urgent need of food support. Five million constantly needing food support. That's half the population. Medical care almost absent in big parts of the country. So literally survival of a huge part of this country, pe uh, country's people, is at stake, let alone having a kind of a decent life. I'm just talking about getting through the days. A few months ago, a multinational security support mission from Kenya was sent to Haiti to try to curb the gang violence. But more needs to be done. Even with these very few resources not nearly adequate to the, the task, they have retaken little bits and pieces of downtown Port-au-Prince, and that's good. It's symbolic. A uh, few areas at the very edges of the city have kind of, the gangs have been pushed back, but really nothing significant on that front. Uh, and it's really the fault. Here I would blame most of the international community. Get money in there, get the force here, all of them, 2,500, with helicopters, with appropriate vehicles, with night vision goggles, with things they need, with drones. Third is the arms embargo. I mean, the arms are still flowing here from the United States originally, sometimes direct, sometimes to the Dominican Republic. Uh, and if you cut off that arms supply, the gangs really <laughs> lose their firepower. Frustrations are running high in the country as people are desperate for help. O'Neill says it's in all of our interests to get stability in Haiti. It's frightening, terrifying, actually. What's at stake is the country's survival. In Washington, D.C., Rachel Knapp reporting.